My name is Winnie Lili from Naku Bay Secondary School, Naku County, Kenya. We are the environmental club and as a club we've done various projects. One of the biogas one of the projects is the biogas project that is carrying on very well. I would like to welcome a fellow colleague Eugene Opijo to to give us various meanings that is climate change, conflict, human migration and violence. Welcome. Good evening. My name is Eugene Opicho and I would like to give the various definitions. First is human migration. This is the movement of people with their properties from one place to another. Violence. This is a physical behavior that intends to hurt or even kill someone. Conflict. This is a situation where two parties are in disagreement. Violence. This is a, this is a behavior that intends to, to hurt or kill someone. Thank you. This side, we have the opposers, and this side, we have the proposers. Our speaker will be Vivian. Welcome. Good evening, the audience, the proposing team and the opposing team. Today, we are going to hold our debate, and I am the speaker of the house, Vivian Ongayu. And from this side, we have the opposers. From the other side, we have the proposers. And now I will welcome the first speaker, the first member, sorry, Eugene Opicho. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to propose the motion that says climate change has driven conflict, violence, and human migration. My point is based on conflict. For instance, when cattle handlers and agricultural farmers are, sh are forced to share diminishing resources due to climate change, this can steer tension in places that lack strong government. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Okay, Francis. Thank you, Ms. Speaker. I would like to oppose my fellow Opicho's opinion that, that climate change can, can lead to conflict. There are many other factors that can lead to conflict that what you are saying is just a minor cause. There are many other, other more major factors that can lead to conflict. For example, tribalism can also lead to people fighting and killing each other. Conflict is on the lack of resources is only a minor, a minor cause. Thank you, Madam Speaker. From the proposing team, we have Otieno. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to oppose my colleague that saying that climate change is, is not the only major problem that causes conflict. Climate change is the major problem because this is a natural thing. It is not predictable. And you cannot, there's no way that you can predict a climate change. If, if a climate change has occurred, it is hard to predict what will be happen next. Even you will not know if drought, how, how long it will be prolonged and how long those people will survive in that particular area. So, climate change, it is impossible to predict. Thank you. Let's hear what Brittany has to say. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to oppose the point of my colleague and to say that, uh, like for instance, in 2007, there was conflict between people, right? And that conflict was caused by leaders, misunderstanding between leaders. What's that the reason to why Climate change caused that conflict. Thank you. I now thank the proposing team and the opposing team for that motion. And for now, we'll get to the next motion from the proposing team. Isaiah. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to propose the motion that climate change has drive conflict, violence, and human migration. So my point is based on human migration. Uh, for instance, if you see in our countries, uh, if there's prolonged rainfall, it may cause flood to some areas, which may, might cause people to move from those areas because they, they will have to, to look for a suitable place where they can sustain their life due to that weather condition which is harsh to their environment and to their habitual area. Thank you. Thank you, Isaiah, for that point. And now we'll have Lily from the opposing side. 
thank you madam speaker for giving me this this opportunity i would like to oppose my fellow colleagues from the proposal side by saying that now um the countries okay the world as countries that are well developed nowadays so like they have political political leaders or rather the political um they have political systems that are well developed that can help like that are proactive so like when that that are proactive so during the natural disasters during the natural disasters they come in or before even the, the natural disasters happen they come in to help the countries to manage the the to manage or rather to plan before the natural disasters happen okay we'll have Lugalia from the opposing side uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this chance. I would like to oppose my my colleagues who brought out the motion that climate change affects people uh, people differently. Uh, the example they gave was floods, and I would like to say, in many parts of the world, flood isn't an issue because we have proactive political systems that are really handling the problem of floods, and they have well-established drainage system. Thank you. Thank you, Lugalia, for that point. And now we'll have Moerore and Opito. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. I'd like to oppose my colleague. You have said that some government are well equipped when this incident occurs. But sometimes you find this incident go to an extent that even the government itself cannot, cannot like, come up with the ways to counterattack it. Like, for example, you even found the, like, when the government, when this flood occurs, it goes to an extent that even to destroying the property, everything, and this even the, the government up to come and say, you people, you have to move from this area because we, we have done our best, but we cannot do anything anymore. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to add the point of my colleague by saying this climate change is so severe. For example, the floods. It can go to an extent, just like he has said, that those features, drainage features, the way you have said, cannot sustain that flood. It, it destroys even those drainage features. So the best thing to do is just to evacuate those people from there. That brings about human migration, and this is due to climate change. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The opposing team will have... Let's hear what they have to say. And we have Lugalia, Sweeney, and Brittany. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose what my, colleague, my fellow colleagues have said. Uh, remember, we are living in an African setup, and most of us are hospitable, especially in the, living in the African setup. We are encouraged to invite visitors and guests to a place of living or residing. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to um, add up to my colleague's point by saying, or like, for example, in Wantamu and Lamu, those guys are very hospitable. Not forgetting, in a great country, Kenya, there's a, there is one, one tribe that has been added from Congo. That's so the tribes have become... 48 from being 47. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And uh, I would like to add a, a point on what my colleague has said. And uh, for instance, there is, UN, there is UN that is always there to promote peace between members. Now this will not cause conflict when they add, uh, like for instance, a certain community. So it will not cause conflict and climate change is not the reason to why people cause violence. Thank you. Thank you. The opposing team and now we'll We'll hear from the proposing team, and we have James, Otieno, and Opicho. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to oppose the three of them by saying a place like Kenya, like Kipia, there's still violence between two groups of people, and yet there's still the organization. You see, this organization can, cannot, cannot stop this violence. It's so... It's so severe that even them, they, they cannot maintain it. Thank you. Oh, 
Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. I would like to also to oppose all of you by saying, even if you say that the organization they are supposed to like support the government to stop all of this, and let's take a good example in Garissa. The people still there are still fighting because of climate change, and the government is just there doing nothing. So, what do you have to say about this? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to oppose my colleagues and by th this, that point that said that climate change has really caused violence in our nations. Like people, due to climate change, people have to migrate from their respective areas because of the ash condition of that place and go to where they can sustain their life. So due to that, they, they are the refugees. In that refugee camp, there's still conflict because of the scarce resources in that area, you see? So it, it, it brings conflict at an extent, do bring violence because of the scarce, scarcity of, of the supply in that particular area. It, it, this all is brought due to climate change. Thank you. Thank you so much, members from the proposing team. And now we'll hear from the opposing team. We're going to start. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to oppose my fellow's point by saying the, you have given us an example of Laikipe and Garissa. Yes? Now, the whole in Laikipe and Garissa is not caused by climate change, but other factors like mis misunderstanding between those people living in those communities but not due to lack of resources. Thank okay, thank you, Madam, Sp Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to oppose what they have, uh, they have uttered. Okay, there was a point that was pointed out uh, regarding that, that fights are caused by climate change. Most of the fights, especially in Garissa, are raids, which are mainly caused by maybe you can say maybe situations because some communities like the Ma people believe that cattle and livestock are they they, are, they came with it from where they, they came from. Two, I like to say that regarding the United Nations, I like to oppose that motion because the main point of the United Nations to say that is because the United Nations was formed to promote world peace, not to engage in something called that the that the community is their fight. Thank you, Madam Speaker. From the opposing side, we'll have one audience to add up on the points that were given out. <laughs> Madam Speaker, my name is Achin. I strongly concur with the proposing team that says the motion about climate change drives about violence, conflict, and human migration. So my point will be based on violence. According to what my opposing colleague has said, that a community can run into a violence and the world organization is not supposed to look at it mostly. But what if the violence between the community, rupture, that it can affect the country socially and economically? What do you have to say about that? Thank you. From the opposing side, we'll have one audience. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. My name is Maureen, and I would like to propose the motion that says Climate change causes human migration, conflict, and violence. Well, mine is based on conflict, and I will propose my colleague, she has said that climate change can cause conflict, but for me it can't, because in which county or even country have you ever heard that there is fight because of climate change? There is no fight because of climate change. Even if there is, it's due to different situations, but not climate change. And by the way, climate change causes unity among people because they'll have to sit down and they'll think of how they'll solve the situation that has been caused by the climate change, but not fight. So I oppose, I, I propose by saying that climate change and 
it cannot cause conflict, violence, nor even human migration. Thank you. I would like to thank the proposing and the opposing team, not forgetting the audience. And the debate was a great one. And now the opposing team has won. So congratulations, the opposing team. And now I will welcome and now I will welcome Meshak to give the final remarks about the debate. Welcome. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Now I would like to wrap up the debate by saying we have both negative and positive climatic changes, not only in Kenya, but also all over the world. Climatic change is no necessity for people to move from their areas to go to other areas that's bringing to conflict, but they should rather explore to other options and be ready to face their problem. And now we welcome Jangara Sweeney for, to give her last remarks about the debate. Welcome. Um, my name is Jangara Sweeney Lili. I would like, up, I would like to wrap up the debate by saying we both have negative negative effects and positive effects affecting the climate. Not necessarily, not necessarily, human migration, violence, and conflict affect the, the climate change. There's some also, there are also other things that affect migration, conflict, and human and, and human migration. And now, I'll I want to welcome Brittany to give her last remarks about the debate. Brittany, welcome. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker. We now wrap up the debate by saying that climate change does not necessarily affect Kenya, but also other parts of the world. And uh, we, as the environmentalists, we urge those people who migrate from their home, they should not migrate because of climate change. Instead, they should find a strategic reason on how to cope up with the problem and uh, engage in other opinions. And now, I welcome Macharia to give his re last remarks about the re debate. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for that introduction. Thank you very much. As we wrap up our debate, I would like to thank the audience for cooperation, and also, Madam Speaker, and also we cannot forget our principles and this to take place, and our patron, Mr. Jerfashi, we see over there, we say thank you very much. And also, we'd like to thank the Africa, there is not Africa EEP, for the last project which they supported us, the biogas which you had said before. And also, I would like to urge you all, as you have all seen about the debate, how it has gone. So, you have seen, according to your view, you cannot escape problems, but you can make use of them. Like for example, if you have seen like the migration, we say that you can put other institutions to settle that migration, or, or the people can engage in other activities. And also a good example, you can see our environment. The nature gave us tree and we made use of it. To take a look. Take a look. Take a look. We can say thank you for that. Nature had given us plants and trees and we made use of that as a good environment club. And this shall go, should go all to you all of there. Thank you very much. Thank you.